Here's an example of implementing the result on the previous page for a bivariate normal with specific parameters. So let the random vector x, which is a column vector, x1, x2, have the bivariate normal distribution with mean vector mu x1, mu x2 of 7 and 6. So all the, already we start out saying the expected value of x1 is 7 and the expected value of x2 is 6 and variance covariance matrix 8, 2, 2, 5 so immediately you can pick off of that the variance of x1 is 8 from here the variance of x2 is this element which is 5 and the covariance of x1 and x2 sits on the off diagonal elements and that is 2. So starting with that bivariate normal distribution we want to see if we can use that result at the bottom of the previous page to generate random variate pairs from this bivariate normal distribution. Well first of all the population correlation if you want to know what the value of rho is by definition rho is the covariance divided by the two standard deviations. The covariance is 2 so that goes in the numerator. The, the standard deviation of x1 is the square root of 8. The standard deviation of x2 is the square root of 5. So you get 1 divided by the square root of 10 and that turns out to be 0 0.3162. Now if you go to the variance covariance matrix sigma and you say what are the eigenvalues of that matrix you will get 9 and 4. I worked real hard to try to come up with a matrix which would give nice eigenvalues and this particular matrix does. The eigenvalues are 9 and 4 so notice those will get placed in decreasing order of magnitude on the diagonal of this lambda matrix here. So there they show up. The eigenvectors associated with these two eigenvalues are 2, 1 and 1, negative 2. So 2, 1 is associated with 9 and 1, negative 2 is associated with 4. But those are not the normalized eigenvectors. So to normalize these you divide by the square root of 5. And the square root of 5 here of course is 2 squared plus 1 squared under the square root and the same here 1 plus negative 2 squared gives you uh, the square root of 5 to normalize these. So notice that in gamma prime 2 over the square root of 5 and 1 over the square root of 5 these show up as columns the uh, normalized eigenvalues uh, uh, normalized eigenvectors and the same goes here. 1 over the square root of 5 and negative 2 over the square root of 5 and those are the normalized eigenvectors as column and here are the normalized eigenvectors as rows. So at this point we can go to R and in R we can set up our matrix of means and here is the 2 by 1 matrix of means with element 7, 6 and that is mu and here is our, our variance covariance matrix sigma and that is a 2 by 2 matrix with elements 8, 2, 2, 5 and then we can leave it to R to do the work to figure out this lambda um, matrix that will be a diagonal matrix with the eigenvalues of sigma on its diagonal elements. So then there's gamma and that will give you the eigenvectors of sigma on, on its columns and therefore we have a transpose in here. Now with that these will automatically in R it will automatically normalize them. So finally to get a sig array and this is what we called sigma one half earlier you take 
the transpose of gamma multiplied, and this is a matrix multiplied, by the square root of the lambda matrix and another multiply, matrix multiply of gam. And that will give you this sig matrix, which is going to show up here and here. So finally, if you set uh, Z1 to 200 independent standard normals, Z2 to 200 other independent standard normals, this first step here will give you the um, X1 values. The second step will give you the X2 values. And this is just plugging into the formula. Finally, when you plot them, they will be centered around, and I will go ahead and put in some labels here. This is 0 and 15. So they will be centered at 7, which is right here. So that will be the kind of the target value for the x values, and 6 on this axis. So that is the center of the distribution. And when you generate these 200 pairs, because rho is approximately 0.3162. You will get some positive correlation, but there will also be significant spread around here. And you will get 200 dots here that show a positive but somewhat weak correlation, not a real strong correlation. So they will stray in a kind of an elliptical fashion like this.